It is the X Morning Show. Tim Benz, Bob McLaughlin with you here on 105.9 The X and WXDX.com. Joining us right now, as promised on the X Morning Show, international adult film superstar, Lexi Bell. Lexi, it's good to have you back in Pittsburgh again. She's going to be at Cheerleaders uh, in the Strip District. You can see her tonight and you can see her tomorrow. Uh, that's Friday and Saturday, 10.30 and 12.30. Great to have you back in the Steel City again. Thank you. Uh, nice to be back. It's been, what, like a year or so, right? It's Yeah, it's been a year. All right, now you have to take your jacket off so everybody online can see exactly what you wore into the studio today. I'm wearing my funsy onesie. <laughs> Um, it's really early in the yes. morning, and it's really cold, and I've got the footsies and hoodie and the... Do you have the hatch in the back? Um, like the old pajamas? Yeah, Remember the cartoon I actually, pajamas? I, want, I was actually complaining. I was like, I'm really warm, my toes, my head, everything, but when I have to go to the bathroom, I have to get butt naked to, like, go to the bathroom. It sucks. So that's the, the one not fun thing part. With my I think this is the <laughs> easiest way for you to segue into your next scene. You know, it's just like Bob said, have the flap drop in the back and just go at it yes. and then roll over and go to bed. Leave I do the have, onesie on. I do have one big question though. Funsy onesie, is that the actual name of that apparel or is that what you call it? That's what I call it. Now, are we going to put that online on your store somewhere so that other people can enjoy the Lexi Bell funsy onesie? Sure, yeah. <laughs> That's right. We'll have another flap right in the middle. I'm right? jealous right now. Right. No, I am jealous. Like Bob said, that'd be great if we just rolled in like that. There have been some mornings where I've come awful close, but uh, part of this goes along with your appeal to, to your audience, does it not? I mean, you sort of have that, I'm trying to phrase this delicately, that barely legal quality to your fan base yes? yes yes i like to act very immature and look very very barely legal <laughs> we like to act very immature also <laughs> just in a different way though. <laughs> come to the right show Thank you. <laughs> so the funsy onesie thing definitely plays to that you've got the little ball and string there so yeah i got two balls over here mm -hmm. and strings Yes, that's. We're not even gonna touch that Can one. I keep we're just gonna let that one go. You're so squishy. <laughs> no, not too hard though. Yeah, not too not hard. Not too hard. Seriously. Delicately you know, with the balls. Right. The you know the business. You know the business. So. <laughs> Mind the stepchildren, yes, but don't slap them around. <laughs> so how's the business going for you since we last met? It's going good. Um, it's been a very big year for me. I. How so? Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to like really talk about. Well on the air or anything, but I did some big things this year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to oh. touch that one either. <laughs> you. Really big things. Right. Okay. <laughs> so you accomplished some on-screen goals that you had set for yourself that you had not yet attained or performed with yet. Yes. Okay. Yes. Check uh, it out. <laughs> multiple guys at the same time? Is that one thing we're talking about? No. Oh, that's old school. Yeah. You've done that before. All right. <laughs> so if people wanted to see your accomplishments that you're referencing, they would go to your website? Uh, no, check out my new movie called Lexi by Elegant Angel. It's just Lexi? This is an yes. L-E-X-I or is yes. it L-E-X-X? L-E-X-I. By Elegant Angel? Yes. Who are you in that movie with? Um, James Dean, who's my favorite male talent ever. James Dean, I have to ask... Does he ever get tired? <laughs> you know, I mean, he, poor guy. I just look at him sometimes and I say, have a Gatorade or a can of tuna or something. I mean, he's a well, machine. I'm not going to touch that line either. <laughs> but he never he is. a lot of tuna. He is <laughs> never not doing porn. I mean, he's a, yeah, he's a, he's a machine. He doesn't stop and, and yet he's. He gets better and better. Would you? I'm obsessed that I'm like, I'm in the same business with him and. I work with him all the time, but I'm still obsessed with the dude. He's now, how come you didn't do the little film for the dental dam for the uh, Measure B? Did you see that thing that he did with Jessica Drake? Oh, I didn't see that, but I saw a lot of that going around. Um, uh, yeah, the whole dental dam thing, it's, it's cool. It's going to ruin the biz, isn't it? Well, you can't be happy about that. I don't think we're going to have anyone babysitting us on set making sure we use condoms. So if they do, that would be hilarious. Now, Jessica Drake came on the show with us to talk about it. I think it was two days after the measure passed. And I know there was a delay there because the helicopters got lost in the fog with the ballots or something weird like that. Did you hear that story? Right. No. Sure they did. <laughs> there was some bizarre way the ballots were counted. And I said to her, like, are you guys going to have to go across state lines and shoot in Nevada or, you know, go up to Oregon or Washington State? Actually, going to Washington State might be fun. Now, it's the LA legal. County, so... 
you could go anywhere outside of LA County. I think everyone's going to do it underground, which is, you know, not the way it should be done, but we're all going to go underground or out of the county. Because it's just, actually just shooting, right? Yeah. It's not distributing? There's no laws about how it's distributed? I don't know. I don't think that just as far as like shooting in LA County, you have to wrap it up. Mm. And like I said, like they, they don't have anyone babysitting us on set that's not in their budget. They don't even, how do you hire someone for that? Yeah. It's like, you need to sit wow. on porn sets and make sure everyone wraps it up. And if they don't, you know, slap them on the wrist. Like, Hi, I'm the dental damn cop. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Proceed. Tell me yeah, you wouldn't want that business card. Shove it down their throat, so. <laughs> the Heimlich. Maybe there's a way we can get out of this. <laughs> Which lends itself to a whole nother movie, doesn't it? I was going to say, what an easy way for a cop to be bought off. The dental damn cop. Yeah, you wouldn't exactly. even need money, right? Yeah. Excuse me, officer. Let's just step aside here and get around this. Have you ever actually used a dental dam? No, I've only seen it in pictures, and I I wouldn't use it at all. Mm -mm. We had a very We had a very confused young girl actually call the show after this measure passed, and we were talking about it on the air, and she had no idea what a dental dam was. And we tried to explain to her, picture a fruit roll-up. Yes. Just, is that the best way to go about saying it? Kind of, yeah, just a big piece of trash bag over <laughs> the girl. And, like, and then us, me in like a yellow hazardous suit, you know, and poking it. <laughs> that's, that's what, that's Like the, the Ghostbusters porn. suit. You've got yeah. the backpack on and everything, yes. ready to fire it and kill the germs. That is the new porn. One thing I wanted to ask you is, we talked about this before, you definitely appeal to a certain demographic because of your young look. Do you get, like, weirdos that follow you more than the other girls in the business, or no? Uh, I, I don't know if it's, uh, yeah, I get a lot. I don't, you get a lot? I know there's a lot of other girls in the business that do look young and they hate it. I like to cater to it. Yeah, you embrace <laughs> it, right? I do. I love it. I I like the pigtails and the socks and like I have a hard time with like the really glam look and and I don't I don't like it. Like I don't I want to kick off my heels immediately, you know, and Which is perfect cuz that's you. You don't have yeah, to play any part. That's exactly. just you. And a lot of girls are just like put more makeup on or I just, you know, I wear these slutty clothes all the time and I embrace it. I really like it and I, you know, I feel like I look younger younger the older I get. Do you ever say to yourself, "Oh god, not another playground scene." Or, "Oh god, not another teacher gone bad scene." Is that <laughs> No. No. Mother? I mean, you know, like I, I have my fetishes and, and you know, schoolgirl and daddy stuff. I, I like it all, and and there's there's a lot of pervs out there that really, really appreciate me. <laughs> <laughs> that are really big fans of mine. Yeah, and I've heard it all. Stuff to you know, things that that you shouldn't be hearing that you know is not right. Right. Yeah. And then you hear stuff that is really flattered and. <laughs> And then I, I always get uh, stuffed animals as gifts. <laughs> Do you really? Yeah, I was on I was on set the other day and and I got a kitty cat stuffed animal and I was so excited, you know. <laughs> and I think he could tell that I was gonna be really excited. That's why he got it for me. But I get a lot of that kind of stuff from fans and. I, I like them. I now, do you have one of those sites where as you can say, hey, if you want to buy me something, don't buy me a kitty cat. Buy me these I, boots or this jacket no, or this. Or this I've onesie seen, onesie. I, no, I'm very anti-Amazon wish list. Like, okay. Um, if, you, if you're my fan and you want to buy me things, then go to my website or buy porn or, you know, come to the convention or watch me dance or whatnot. But it's like, don't buy me Ugg boots that I can buy myself. Like, you guys are still living at home, your mother's basement. Buy my porn. Don't buy me something that I can buy, you know, or like, or if you feel, you know, like you buy me laundry, then you're going to be constantly right. hounding me all the time. Well, I like, see that. Some of the people who come in, they'll say, hey, put our, uh, link our Twitter site or something like yeah, that. So we'll link it and I'll see something like a, hey, thank you for buying me that fur jacket. If you want to buy yeah. something off my wish list, I, it's right here. And they have, they do rude. have a whole list. I think it's rude. I've seen cars on there. I've seen like all kinds of very expensive crap I was cussed but crap and like I think it's I think it's rude that's just me personally I don't I don't like to beg people to buy me things I'm a very independent girl and I like to buy my own frenzy onesies <laughs> so. well it's great having you back in again I'm glad <laughs> you came you. back to Pittsburgh it's cheerleaders this weekend on Friday and Saturday two shows nightly 10 yes. 30 and 12 30 yes. anything else you wanted to promote and get out there I love my perfect <laughs> <laughs> so do we it's 105.9 the X you're my favorite <laughs>